Oni has finally taken a decision. And yes, this decision he has made is not in favor of anybody at all. He has summoned all his wives, all the Oluris into the palace, including Olori Naomi. He has brought them all together to make his decision. So obviously, the Oni has taken the advice from the men in council. His father and that which his brother said to him, some days ago, we spoke of how Oba Elegushi reached out to the Oni, telling him that if he banks on past glory, then he will allow this woman do whatsoever it is they want to do in the palace. And it seems like all of these words these people have spoken have yielded in Oni's heart, and now he is taking a drastic decision about it. So what decision are we talking about? The Oni have summoned all the Oluris into the palace and he has made his, his his decision he has declared it to them and all of them are saying that they don't like the fact that the only keeps rubbing naomi into their faces every single thing that happens it is naomi every single thing that it is naomi and now the only is beginning to prove to them less of who they are and then projecting olori naomi's value right into their faces at this point, you will not blame the Oni for whatsoever he is doing because the Oni has tried over time to reason with this woman, but they have refused that we will do what we want to do. Yes, that has just been the plain truth and, and, and the reality on this matter. Because if you would want to look at it more seriously and more critical, you would understand that these women have just been a tool of destruction to the only in the palace. They have fought, they have quarreled, they have done every, they have framed each other, they have done everything they feel they can do in the palace. Yes, they say where one or two women are gathered, competition is inevitable. But their own competition is just out of hand. Today it is this, tomorrow it is that, and it is beginning to be so, so alarming. Yes, it is beginning to be just too alarming. So right now, no, the only has made his own decision. Remember, the court gave the only the leverage to do this, but he was the one who decided that, okay, well, if my wives can change, then let me, let me um, give them that room. Let me give them that privilege to, to change. But it has been how many years, if you can count, it has been how many years put together that the only has been hoping that this woman will change. You see, human beings are very, very manipulative with words. And words go a very, very long way. Yes, because this woman know that whatsoever happens in the palace, when they get to when they get to speak up, when they get to say one or two things, it always ends up in their favor. Look at when the court ruled that they all leave the palace and, you know, they only came back. The women of Ilefe were like, and now that they have said this, they should abide by it or these women should leave. Once they say they should leave, they should leave. And, you know, they came out seeking that the court should give them a room that they should hear them out as well. They cannot just sit and, you know, draw a conclusion about them like that. They should hear them out too. And during that period, they know very well that if the courts will grant these women their own hearing, or more, this matter will not finish you. We know how these women can be. We know how dramatic they can be. We know the kind of chaos series of activities they will keep on putting up until everybody will be completely tired of this matter. So it came to that point where the only just had to what let they be they said they should what let the sleeping dog lie but this woman did not understand that that is always the part that everybody finds it ridiculous they don't understand what this man is doing for them they don't and when he tries to make a decision that will favor his own sanity they begin to to look at it like the man is exaggerating or he is definitely overdoing whatsoever it is they think he is doing so right now no this matter it is no longer a small thing as we are looking at it because it has taken the only so so long to make this singular decision everybody was expecting it long before now everybody was expecting him to come out and you know state this thing in plain terms long before now but this man has just been one man one man who has respected himself one man who has held Every single thing at 
high esteem. So he doesn't want to ruin it all of a sudden because because of what people feel or what people think. And his wives have taken that drastically for granted. Yes, it is in the place of the king to make his decisions. It is in the place of the king to wake up today and tell you that you, I don't want you in the palace again. Pack your things and leave. And there is nothing you will do about it. There is nothing you can do about it. But this woman, he has given them that benefit of doubt. He has given them that leverage. He has given them that opportunity to live the lives they want in the palace. But they have told him that, no, sir, we don't want this lives. Make it hard and difficult for us to survive. So right now, the king have decided that they all pack their things and they leave the palace. Yes, we always say that these women have a strategy or they have a tactic of surviving every single thing that happens in the palace. We don't know if they will survive this one. Yes, we don't know if they will survive this one because these have come from different, different persons put together that they only have decided that let it be done as the people have said. These have come from, from the prominent men. These have come from the women of Ileife. These have come from his brother yes and then the men in council have also looked at it very very critical and said that this woman's matter would never end they are not building a palace where chaos becomes the top heading when someone looks at it so they should leave and right now they are leaving my people <laughs> they say matter no go finish and yes Truly, matter no go finish. Because the only jokingly said that if you have a husband, please return back to your husband. And it was more like a joke. They all laughed about it. And right now, they have pushed this man to the point of coming out in public to make this statement. Now, if you would want to blame the only, you are just blaming him for nothing. Because this man has endured. This man has tried. This man has done every single thing humanly possible to make sure that these women stay on track. But what they have done in return is to make sure that him, the only, loses his focus, loses his, his dignity, loses all that he has ever had as a king. And it is beginning to be alarming at his own end. This is a king whom, when he walks in the midst of other kings, he should be respected. When the only was crowned, the only gave a speech. That speech generated conversations over the internet from people all over the world because what the respect they have for this man it is it is unmatched it is unquestionable and then all of a sudden because of the wives he got married to then they come out all of a sudden and what trample upon that respect in front of the people no even the only himself will not want that for himself yes he wouldn't want that so right now he has made a decision no hmm Let's see what will be the outcome of this. The woman of Ile, if I want says something, that they prefer it when they only say something, it, is, it happens instantly. That's, like, that's the part they prefer. Not he says it, they hear it, and nothing happens.